thanks to the supporters of channel member Kenny Gray. Well, today it's the best team in England versus the best team in Greece. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, I know our warm-up game for this has been losing our first league game in nearly two years. That wasn't ideal. Yeah, and I do remember. I do remember that you asked for semi-final this year and this is only the quarter-final. Please don't sack me if we lose. Hello and welcome to part 112 of the Greek Odyssey. I'm Kevin. Coming up on today's episode, we have both legs of our Champions League quarterfinal against Manchester City. And this is the first time we're entering the quarterfinal stage of the tournament, knowing that a defeat actually counts as failure. Because remember, this season, Mrs. Wearmouth is looking for us to, as a minimum, reach the semi-final of the Champions League. I think what she's not fully taken into account is the fact that although we're the best team in Greece champions for the 10th year in a row we have just lost 3-0 away against Powock our first league defeat in 67 games Manchester City on the other hand are top of the Premier League the biggest most fancy pants league in the world they also have the best player in the Premier League in Tony Vincent who has nearly 100 caps for England already Paul Duffy's midfield partner for England it's um it's going to be a tricky one we have got the away leg up first, so there's always the chance that we might be able to sneak past them by our usual getting away goal and do it at the spaghetti had. But we can also lose 5 0 away, and I, don't, I think I'm fairly powerless to stop it happening. So let's hope it doesn't come to that. Um, one, a couple of little tweaks we've made to the team, to the bench for this game, and um, we have removed Carnavali from the equation altogether because as much as I loved his goal in the last episode, Richard is obviously a better striker to be there as our backup to Sonny. So Richard is going to sit there on the bench ready to come on if needed, as is Banny. Um, but this is the team. We're going with Tennessee in goal, a back four of Lutz, Bilbao, Hernandez and Solazano, Milo, Dominguez and Duffy in midfield, Chermont, Sonny and Acosta as our front three. So it's Liverpool and Chelsea in one semi-final, Manchester City and Apollon in the other semi-final with a place in the champ no quarter final. You get what I mean. There's a place in the semi-final at stake. They're matching us up 4-3-3 for 4-3-3. Well, here we go then. Um <laughs> Underdogs team talk. Um yeah, go out there and surprise everyone. The only way we're going to win this tournament ever is by surprising people. We're never going to be the favourites for the Champions League. Even if this series went on for another 10 seasons, which we know it can't. Even if it did, though, we're never going to be favourites for the Champions League. So we've got to sneak through. We snuck through to the final once before and then bottled it against Tottenham. Let's, uh, let's sneak through again. And we owe Tottenham a revenge and Tottenham are on the other side of the bracket. So if we do manage to get through to the final, a potential final against Tottenham awaits for us. And Tottenham, of course, are the team that beat us in the Europa League final over 10 seasons ago. They're the team that beat us in the Champions League final, what, three three seasons ago? It feel, if this was a novel or a film or any kind of fiction, because this isn't fiction, this is Football Manager, but if this was a planned out nice story arc, this is the season where it sets us up for the final against Tottenham, third time, and we finally overcome our greatest rivals win the Champions League, and then I retire into the sunset, a.k.a. go and play in the World Club Cup, win that too, and bish bash bosh, series done. That would be how it would work if I was in control. But you know me, I ain't in control. Shermont's hit the post, and Sonny's there with the rebound, and all of a sudden, maybe we are in control afterwards. It's Sonny and Shermont combining for the goal. Shermont hits the post, with a cheeky little effort and Sonny's first to react using his blistering pace. Good work from Acosta as well. Excellent effort from Chermont. And the City goalkeeper is going to be very disappointed that he's reacted so slowly to that ball bouncing free. This is probably why they've been chasing Tenesi for about three years. Because Tenesi doesn't concede that. Whereas this fella in goal for them, I believe he did. But it, I, who cares? It's Man City nil, Apollon 1, and we're daring to dream for a moment. I know there's a long way to go in this tie, a long way to go in this episode, but right now, we're allowed to have a little bit of a dream. Chermont's picked up an injury. Um, I think we've have we got, we haven't got Sanchez on the bench. We need like a 20-man bench to fit all the options that I want down onto the bench. 
We have no one really who can come on and play on that. I guess Richard or Sonny can go out onto the left hand side. How bad is this injury? Potential lower leg injury. He's not any worse conditioning than anyone else at the moment. So I think for now, we keep Chermont on. We monitor him in this second half. If his conditioning really starts to drop, it's actually increasing while everyone else is dropping at the moment. But if his conditioning starts to drop again, I think that's the point where we have to take him off. Acosta somehow has missed an open goal there. I'm not quite sure how he's managed to do it. I hope it's not one of those big miss turning points. We've had six clear-cut chances in the first 50 minutes of this game and only scored once, and Shermont's going to get himself sent off. No, he manages to stay on. But this has been ridiculously one-sided in terms of chances created, and the worry is, with having six clear-cut chances and only scoring one of them, it only takes City to wake up for the last 20 minutes, grab a couple of goals, and we're going to feel really, really hard done by. I, I kind of already... I mean... A win is a win. Going away to Manchester City and winning is a great result, no matter what happens on the pitch, I guess. But I can't help but think, with six clear-cut chances, we could have put the, the tie to bed and almost been in the semi-final by now. Right, we are bringing Richard on for Chermont. Like I say, it's not the ideal change to make. Font's coming on in midfield as well, just for some for some running about energy in there. Um, and I think we're probably... I'm looking in Banny's direction, so I want to get him on, but... At the same time, Acosta's on a yellow card. He's the second lowest condition on the pitch. He's the lowest rating on the pitch. And we've got Pedraza on the bench. So everything's kind of aligned to bring Pedraza on for Acosta there. So Banny will have to wait for the second leg to make an appearance against City. Bill Bow to Font. Milo. Milo to Dominguez. Are we going to build a wonder goal here? No, we're not. We're going to give it. Surely that's not Phil Foden. Still, still going. Every save I'm in. That I must have been that man must have played three thousand games of football in FM saves I've managed this year, and they're all for Manchester City, apart from all those ones where I signed him. Um, Richard charging down the left, effort from Richard from range. My voice went all high and squeaky, uh, but uh, twas not to be. And Milo now with the free kick, Hernandez trying to get underneath it, but can't really. And City with three minutes to go, I've got a counter attack on here. And this would this would be, I would be hurt. This counts as being FM'd if we don't win this game. After six clear-cut chances, I'm absolutely saying that it counts. Um, Lutz has been beaten for pace by a 1,000-year-old man, um, but does actually come back to recover. Um, I think that's a shot rather than a cross, but Tanessi handles it comfortably. And hopefully we just don't give the ball away now for the last few minutes. That would be the perfect scenario. Font... Using that running we brought him on for. This is great stuff from Font. It falls to Sonny. And that's clear-cut chance number seven. And it's still only 1-0. Sonny, have a word with yourself. Yes, you scored a goal. But we should be home and dry. That's a difficult team talk to do. Because it's a bit of a mad game. The important thing is, though, we are ahead in the away leg. We just have to do that again at the spaghetti had and we're in the semi-final and Mrs. Wearmouth will be happy. Well, we scraped our way past Olympiacos with the reserves, which uh, at least gets us back to winning ways in the league. And now we're straight into the second leg against Manchester City. Chermont still not fully recovered from the knock that he picked up in the last game. So Sanchez is going to start in a big Champions League game. That can't be a bad thing. We all love Claudio Sanchez. Um, so we're going with Tennessee in goal. A back four of Lutz, Bilbao, Hernandez and Solazano, Milo, Dominguez and Duffy in midfield, Sanchez, Sonny and Acosta up front. I'm just noticing we don't have Richard on the bench, which seems like a big mistake. Why is Carnavali down there again? What is going on? Um, ah, that looks fine. We've got a decent mix of players down there. I can, I can cope with that as a bench. Let's go for it and hope that somehow we sneak past the best team in the Premier League into the Champions League semi-final. It would be... It's a tall order. But we expect to keep our good run of form going. We are in excellent form. Got a lot of momentum going for us. So have City, of course. But we've just scored immediately. Is, is that being allowed? I'm feeling like that must be offside. I think it is offside. It's been disallowed. It's the long throw from Salazano. The linesman never put his flag up. But the referee, I guess, with his little earpiece, has decided... That, that one doesn't count. That would have been a lovely start to the game, but was not to be. But, you know, we've just got to avoid defeat today. See, it sounds easy enough until you remember we're playing against Manchester City. Just avoid defeat today and we'll be fine. That's all there is to it. 
Simple. Football's simple. What's going on? I mean, there's a huge turnaround going on in the other tie because Liverpool, I think, were th- was it 3-0 or 3-1 up from the first leg? Either way, Chelsea with two goals inside the first 10 minutes. Mean business. Bill Bowes hit the crossbar. That's what happens when you're six foot six. You can... You can get on the end of these corners, unfortunately, not able to keep his header down. Chelsea now missing a penalty as well in their game. They could have been 3-0 up and well back into this tie. Um, but that might be a that might be a big difference maker, the fact that they've missed the penalty now. It's a good way to stop any momentum. Uh, first half means nothing if we don't keep it going in the second half. I agree. We want to keep it tight. We'd love to grab a goal. If City score, I'll cry because I feel like we're, we've done so well and we're getting so close. But it does feel like we're moments away from them just deciding to beat us because it's still so finely poised. Sanchez plays it forward for Sonny. Sonny now is just going to run at the City defenders. Goes past one near post effort when maybe he could be squaring it. Oh, looking at who's in the middle. The answer is nobody. I don't know where Acosta is there. He should be charging in from that right-hand side. Milo with the corner. Bilbao. No, it's not Bilbao. It's Dominguez. How on earth has Dominguez got on the end, on the end of that? He's done a cartwheel as well. He doesn't understand that he scored a header. Look how short he is next to Bilbao. This must have been Bilbao deflecting onto onto Dominguez. It is. Bilbao with the header onto Dominguez, who's being played onside by this guy stood on the line, not even on the post, just stood behind the goalkeeper. Awful defending, but I don't care. We're 1-0 up on the night, 2-0 up on aggregate, and we're still attacking. Lutz now going to hurl it into the area again. Long throw, looking for... Sanchez! A 16th goal of the season for the captain of the club. It's 2-0 on the night, 3-0 on aggregate and now surely we can we can semi-start to believe that this might be happening. We might be returning to the Champions League semi-final for only, I think, the second time. I think it's only the second time we'll have ever got there. Could this be our year? It kind of needs to be. Could this be our year? Milo now with a free kick. We've seen him score these many times before. On this occasion, it bounces off the top of the crossbar and goes behind for a goal kick. We are. St- I st- I'm still afraid because I know how good City can be. I've seen the Premier League table, so I am still afraid. Acosta's not having a very good game at all. Pedraza can come on for him. Um, we're also going to get Banny on in midfield for Duffy. And I think possibly just switch those two over. No, we'll keep Banny as the more attacking of the two. There's an argument that it should perhaps be Font in that case. Because... I like Font as the Mazala and Banny as the playmaker, but Banny is just the better player overall. So I think we will go with Banny. Um, I don't really know what to say. Praise. Let's drop some praise. Just keep them, keep shouting at them. Shout them over the finish line. Solazano is on a yellow card and that worries me. But also Sonny not playing well with Richard down there. Seems like an easy substitution to make as well. I think, no, not Font. We're going to bring Richard on for Sonny. Um, that can be the change that we make. I know I could potentially have brought Smith on for Solazano, but I think that's just, it's a it's a big downgrade. Whereas Richard for Sonny, not so much. They're quite similar abilities, both as likely to grab a goal as each other. So I think that's probably a sensible change to make. We've got a call in our Banny's picked up an injury, which is potentially problematic. Only a bruised ankle, so hopefully not going to keep him out for any length of time. Um I thought I wasn't recording for a minute there. Milo with the in-swinger. Um, it eludes everybody, but ends up with Pedraza on the edge of the edge of the area. You can score here. He hits the crossbar. I mean, a, a third there, and I'll even I'll start to calm down. But City have managed to get a counter-attack off the back of this, but Lutz in with the tackle. I tell you what, Lutz is getting better and better all the time. He is our first choice left back now. Kansarovic not even on the bench for a big game like this. And Lutz is just a really good defender which I don't often have in my fullback positions. But with Solazano being so attacking on the other side, it doesn't hurt to have a big lad who's basically a centre-back playing at left-back on this side doing all the defending. Um, because we can we almost drift into a back three when when uh, Solazano charges forward. Hernandez with a rare mistake there. And it has created an opening for City. But Tennessee and Tennessee and Bilbao... Oh, I mean, yeah, they're, they're, just, they're just good. They're good players. They never let you down. And we're into the Champions League semi-final. Mrs. Wearmouth's happy. I'm even happier. Who do we play? Banny's only out for a day. That's fine. We've got another 9 million quid. Oh, there you go. We're playing Liverpool. So Liverpool did manage to hold on. Where were the... I mean, that's quite the tie. That missed penalty for Chelsea. Crucial. I said it might derail them. It looks like it has. So it's Liverpool 
that we're going to be facing in the semi-final. Third place Liverpool, captained by someone called Trent Alexander-Arnold. Sounds like a new gen game name if ever I heard one. Um, but I mean, we've just beaten Manchester City comfortably over two legs. On that basis, nobody from the Premier League should be. We we shouldn't be fearing anyone from the Premier League. Tottenham have made it through to the other semi final as well, so the fairy tale story is still on. But first, we have to get past Liverpool tomorrow, and I hear they're quite good at the Champions League. If you've enjoyed that, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily football manager videos. And thank you very much for watching.